need a high-end designer or a lot of money to get a luxe look. Be your own interior designer. This is Affordable Interior Design, the podcast. Here's your host, Betsy Hellman. My first question has come all the way from London, Ontario, Canada, and Kaylin is writing. Kaylin says, Betsy, this is a follow-up to my last question, which I asked, but this one is about window treatments. Kaylin's previous question, as you remember from last week, was about shiplap. As you can see in the pictures I've provided, the window casing and baseboards have been removed and they need to be replaced. The previous ones were unusable. What should I go for? Should I use standard square primed MDF baseboard four inches height or more? Or should I go for something with curves? Thanks, Kaylin. Well, Kaylin, I'm very familiar with your space after your last question. And you know, this space, if you don't remember, is kind of an attic type space. It's peaked on both sides and it has shiplap on the sides, all four walls and on the ceilings. And it's kind of a three part vaulted ceiling. That's a lot of shiplap. I think introducing curves may feel a little arbitrary and inorganic in this space. I would certainly do so as you're bringing in furniture, artwork, because there are so many straight lines that it's a little overwhelming, frankly. We definitely want to break those up with some soft edges like fabric on the Roman shade or, um, you know, a kind of more curvilinear pattern on the rug. But... For me, the baseboards are not a place to do this. You know, the ceilings are relatively low, and I think we just keep it really simple. I think like something like a straight two by four for the baseboard would be perfect. Maybe something slightly skinnier for around the doors and the windows, only because we've got the outlets right there, and I don't want you to have to move an outlet to accommodate larger trim. But my advice to you is just keep it really simple and bring the flair, bring the um, visual interest with the accessories and furnishings. Okay, Lynn, that was such a quick and easy answer. A big thank you to Aton and the Embassy who wrote our theme song. A shout out to Catherine Heller who owns the podcast shop and is our editor extraordinaire. We also want to thank Ginny Sunnison and her team at the Savvy Podcast Agency for their help with our social, our YouTube channel, and so much more. We also want to thank Uploft, which is our parent company who supports this podcast. And lastly, we owe a huge debt of gratitude to you. Thank you so much for tuning in and for all your support. (laughs) 